the $300 billion coming from? Is there a ferry that's dropping it on the Senate? But basically, we're talking about $43 billion in taxes or penalties for people who don't buy insurance. And then there's $44 billion because we're going to have to spend more money on dish payments to hospitals. So that's the negative that eliminating the mandate requires. So how come you got $313, $318 billion to spend out of this? Uh, Senator if you're getting rid of a tax, how does miraculously $320 billion show up for you to spend on corporations? I'll tell you why. Because you're eliminating $185 billion in payments of subsidies to people who are getting insurance. And by the way, I believe if CBO were here, and I'm sure you would probably agree, uh, the JCT would agree, that no one, no individual is entitled to an ACA subsidy that makes more than $50,000 a year. So let me see if I get this straight. You're taking $43 billion and you're saving people ostensibly, your argument is, less than, making less than $50,000 a year. You're saving them $43 billion. And then you're turning around with the other hand and you're cutting $185 billion from those same people. Wait, I'm not done. Then you're cutting, I believe, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, $179 billion from Medicaid. Now, I'm, I'm pretty sure those people don't make $50,000 a year. So in order to save these poor people $43 billion, you're cutting $364 billion Senator, from the same if you, yield, people. If, you, if you would just yield for a second, there are no cuts to Medicaid in this bill. I beg your pardon. This is the CBO score, Mr. Chairman. I'm what? reading right off the CBO score. $179 billion in reduced Medicaid subsidies. Uh, well, there are no <coughs> cuts. Uh, beg your pardon. That's where the money's coming from. Where do you think the $300 billion is coming from? Is there a ferry that's dropping it on the Senate? What? The money you're spending is coming out of Medicaid and subsidies to people who make less than 50000